And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and I expect new and unusual themes. I don't often get them with games, but here I got one I was not expecting at all. Kenny G, Keeping It Saxy Game. This is a cooperative game that is found at, I think, Target, and a lot of people are going to like it. It's about Kenny G getting through the day and his problems with the help of sax music. Here's the board. Kenny G is going to be going throughout the day, two times in the morning, afternoon, and evening with a deck of event cards for each. This is given to one start player. Each player is going to draw a handful of cards that they're going to place up in front of them. These cards are various things. Bop, bop, biddle, schooly is what I have in front of me. And there's a whole deck more of these cards. Each turn, this will tell you how many events to reveal. So in four players, I'll reveal four events. And I'm going to put these in front of people, in front of everybody, essentially. So Kenny G slept through the alarm. He's had a cold coffee drink. A dog chewed on his shoes. And no time for morning sacks. I guess he needs to play it anyway. And each of these is going to require cards played to it in that order. So all these cards are face up in front of everybody. And then each player, starting with the person who has the first player marker and going around clockwise, gets three actions. So some of the actions can be playing a sound card. I can play bop, for example, to slip through the alarm or to out of cold coffee drink, but I can't play it on dog chewed through shoes because, well, it doesn't match any of the symbols. And I can't play it here either because it's not the first one. I would have to play a pink one first before I could play bop. So I would need to play another card and hopefully find it. There's a wild card, the wah, 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 which matches everything, but I'm specifically looking for whoop. Now, that's one thing you can do is play one of those cards. You can also draw two cards from the top of the deck as an action. You can play an ability card. Sax with friends. Another player may immediately play one of their sound cards in an event. Or sax solo, draw two cards, uh, trade one card from your hand with another player. The fourth action that you can take is simply trade a card with another player. I have D, you have Bop, let's trade them. So players will take these actions going around. Now when you completely finish something, so let's say I finish out of cold coffee drink, then we do what this says. This says gain a groove token. Ooh, that's great. We start with 12 groove tokens. There's four in reserve. Getting an extra groove token is good. Why are groove tokens good? Because if I don't finish these events, after all the players have gone, for each event you're going to roll dice equal to this number. So that's four dice. I roll. There's three and four. I got three pips total. I'm going to lose three groove tokens. If Kenny G loses all his groove, then players have lost. Then three more events come out. Then two events, two events, one event, two events. In a four-player game, more events for a five-player game. Kenny G simply just has to not lose all his groove to win the game. If you lose all his groove tokens, then players and Kenny G have lost. Okay, this is a really nice wooden piece with Kenny G on it, printed on both sides, very good quality. Uh, I do like that the music cards have these symbols on them, wah, 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 and you know, so when you finish something, so let's say I finish this, I'd be like, doop, scooly, wah, 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 you're supposed to say it out loud, or you know, biddle bop dee dee, whatever it might be as you play these. The cards themselves, they're nice big quality cards, the whole production is really, really nice. But the full gin bottle broke, nothing good on TV. These things are really hilarious as they go through. Concert was canceled, that's one thing. Sax read broke, that's a pretty big thing. No lunch date, careless whispers, what does that even mean? <laughs> Wi-Fi network, ah! So sometimes when you complete these, you'll get the bonus here. Sometimes when you're rolling dice, things will change. For example, if you roll a three or higher, you may re-roll once, because you're rolling three dice here. So if I, you know, I could get a whole lot of groove tokens gone because jazz has been outlawed. I, I would finish this event myself. Anyway, I really like the components for this game. I like the art. I like everything about it. It fits with the surreal feel that this game has. Okay, so where does this game rank? It's such a, it's such a silly theme, right? How is Kenny 
G, fixing the internet with good sax music. Because if he can, I need him to come and help us out now. Now, granted, I think the whole self-deprecating part of this is hilarious. The fact that Kenny G allowed his name to be put on this, I'm sure he's seen how the game plays. I think it's silly and it's funny and as dorky as it is, it works. Because Kenny G music is very polarizing, right? It's music that people make fun of, you know, whatever. I like it. Um, but so I, I think that part's funny. It is a cooperative game. It is a game that people are going to be working together. Now I often complain that cooperative games are too difficult. This one here uh, airs the other way. It's too easy. And I'm not sure I like the fact that everyone's cards are face up because someone can just go, do this, do this, switch this, switch this, and, and really you can. Really there's one best way to play. As you get closer to the end, you're like, let's finish these events. Uh, if you play your card first, then I can play mine. I mean, that's supposed to be crowdsourcing, but I, I'm not necessarily a strong alpha gamer. Maybe I am, but I, regardless, I can sit there and go, this is what needs to be played when. You know, there's usually a best move to be played at different points. This game isn't for me. Not the theme. I like the theme. I think the theme's great. But it's just too simplistic. It doesn't offer a lot of deep, meaningful choices. You play the, car the notes you can on the events, trying to finish them up. If you can't, you draw cards. You try to set it up so you play cards that set up your opponent so that they can play cards. I get it, that's fine, it works in this situation, and I think this is a great game for people who go to Target and they find this, and they'll pull it out and say, oh, let's try it, and it's, it's, it's perfect for that. So while this game isn't necessarily one that I love and will want to play all the time, I see the appeal of it. It's silly enough that people are going to buy this for other people as gifts. Some of them are going to open it up. They're going to see the great components inside. Fantastic. Then they're going to take those components and play the game and go, this is pretty interesting. Maybe they'll find it too easy. Maybe not. This is definitely kind of more in tune with uh, that Uno crowd. And I don't mean that as an insult, but I'm saying that the choices seem fairly obvious and straightforward. So while this game is not one that I want to play all the time, it's one that if someone bought it, I'd be like, oh, cool. I hope you enjoy that. And if you do, maybe then they'll go and play Pandemic or something else. And if they don't, and this is the extent of the games they play, that's also fantastic. So, final thoughts are that it's really kind of easy. It's kind of, it's dorky, but it, but it works. The, it works for the intended crowd that it's at. And, well, there you go. Stop it! Dice Tower Judgment. A lot of people are gonna like it. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast, or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.